Hi, my name is David Mann, and I'm the Performing Arts Manager at Evergreen Cultural Center. Um, just want to talk a little bit about what we have going this summer, starting in July. It's quite exciting. When I first started here eight years ago, basically July and August was pretty empty time here. And now it's a really busy time with lots going on. First of all, of course, we have this year our eighth annual Music on the Grill series. Uh, this is a, a series of three concerts. Uh, that include a barbecue dinner outside or undercover if the weather is not so great, and then uh, three terrific concerts. First one's on July 9th, and it features uh, two great bands. Uh, headlining will be the Mark Atkinson Trio, who's well known here. Uh, they're brilliant gypsy jazz players, and they can play just about anything else and do it extremely well. It's going to be fantastic. And opening for them is an emerging group of indie, folk, chamber, pop, it's hard to describe, but they're a quartet, string band quartet, four-part vocals called West My Friend from Victoria. They're fantastic, and I know that anybody who comes to that night uh, will be blown away by that group, and then Mark Atkinson Trio after that. Then one week later, on July 16th, uh, we'll be opening the concert with uh, Three Worlds. They're a world music ensemble, a trio of veteran world music performers, and they're instrumentalists. And then we uh, finish the evening with Novel Vaz, which is a seven-piece Cuban a cappella vocal group that does both Cuban music and all kinds of international music and hits. So that'll be a great evening as well. And then we take a little bit of time off and come back on August 13th with a very special concert featuring Jacqueline Guillou. She's uh, becoming a very, very rising star in the jazz pop vocal scene. And she will be performing music from her album, This Bitter Earth, The Dinah Washington Project. Uh, this is an amazing piece of work that honors one of the greatest uh, North American vocalists of the last century, Dinah Washington. And she'll be backed up both by a jazz trio and a string quartet. So that'll be an exciting one on August 13th. So that's Music on the Grill for this summer. Three great concerts, all sponsored by Green Line Dental Center, as well as uh, the BC Touring Council's Warming Up the Act program, which allows us to present emerging artists who will perform during dinner hour. And speaking of the dinner hour, that is one of the, the, the main selling points of this series, is our great buffet dinner, which is different every time, and people really love to come and enjoy that. We can feed up to about 100 people, and then uh, you can also come just for the concert as well. So check out our website at www.evergreenculturalcenter.ca for more details about music on the grill. Other than that, this summer is full of summer camps for kids and teens. We have our kids on stage camps the first couple of weeks in July, and then a kids in the art studio camp, which is brand new for us, and four weeks of improv classes with Jennifer Pilak. So something going on pretty much throughout the first six weeks of summer. So come and join us. There's lots to do at the Evergreen this summer. And speaking of things going on in the Evergreen, there's been an awful lot of noise coming from that general vicinity, and it hasn't been Evergreen Line construction. In fact, it's been the crew at the Evergreen constructing their annual entry for the Grand Parade. The Evergreen is one of the few participants that constructs a new entry every year. This year, they celebrated the Evergreen's 20th anniversary with a treehouse salute to simpler days of the past. Krista Pavain, the Evergreen's technical operations manager and grand pooba of all things float related, explains why they invest so much time in this project every year. We love doing the parade every year. It gives us a real opportunity to be creative uh, in a way that usually our job is to help other groups with their creative process and it's fun to have our own. Uh, and then to come out and be part of the community is we love just being with all of the different organizations and, and contributing where we can. We sit down, sort of the tech crew, this is our pet project, and we say, okay, so what do we want to do this year, guys? And then I tell them what we're going to do. And, um, and then everyone brainstorms ideas, and it's, a, it's just a real, it's a process. Um, as we use the materials that we use, because they're mostly recycled, we have to 
um, adapt the design as we go. So when we find something doesn't work, then we take that out and try something new. We went with this theme of childhood and play. So, and the concept started with uh, building a tree and a tree fort, and then looking at, at um, sort of traditional childhood toys from the 1920s, 1930s. So we've got lots of uh, little pull toys and um, tin cans on string, and the things that, that maybe our grandparents would have played with. As per usual, this year's Evergreen Float project was truly a group effort. All of the staff and volunteers at Evergreen submitted photos of themselves as children or of their children and their grandchildren, and so we've incorporated them into the leaves of the tree. Uh, there are 15 branches in the tree, and uh, 10 of them actually come out. And when we were bringing them out of the dock this morning and trying to transfer the top piece onto the base, the whole thing fell over and we sort of had to scramble to get everything out and put it in properly. Nobody died. This year was extra special with the Evergreen crew being acknowledged for their efforts. MLA Linda Reamer was on hand to make the announcement. I'm so pleased to announce that you, the Evergreen Cultural Centre, is a recipient of the Teddy Bear Picnic Grand Parade Best in Class for 2016. Yay! Yay! Very well done. the joy of play. Join us all summer long with events that spark your imagination and remind you what it's like to make and believe. Evergreen Cultural Center, art for all seasons. Good job, you guys. All those leaves actually, make sure you can see the float because all those leaves are actually pictures of people that have uh, been associated with them over the years.